I'm Jody Hecht, a director of Standard & Poor's Corporate Rating Renewable and Infrastructure Group. Welcome to CMTV On Location. We're standing here today in front of the Staten Island Ferry because it received a federal loan which enabled it to rebuild two ferry terminals and purchase additional ferries. The TIFIA program is an acronym for the Transportation Infrastructure Financing Innovation Act which was started in 1998. This program has 26 loans in its portfolio. Six have been successfully repaid, one of which is the Staten Island Ferry. We're talking about it today because more P3 projects, public-private partnerships, are using TIFIA loans to finance their large-scale transportation projects. And we've been asked, how do you evaluate the TIFIA loans? We consider the TIFIA loans both senior and subordinate because it's got both debt characteristics. We consider it subordinate because the TIFIA loan is repaid second after the senior obligations in the flow of funds. The TIFIA loan payments are characterized as either mandatory or scheduled. The mandatory payments must be paid along with the senior debt service payments, but the scheduled payments can be deferred. The Staten Island Ferry was the first project to use this concept, which is now used in all TIFIA loans. Consequences for missing the payments are different. Missing two mandatory payments will trigger a BRE, which means that the TIFIA loan is no longer second, but it rises to parity with the senior loan. The BRE has to occur after two missed payments, plus the project needs to be filed into bankruptcy. If you miss a scheduled payment, it causes a cash lockup, and the missed payments accrete and increase the loan balance. For this reason, we consider the senior debt service payments and the mandatory debt service payments together in our analysis. The senior debt ratings and the TIFIA loan can have different ratings. And why is this? Because they have different risk profiles. Again, the senior debt can only miss one debt service payment before it's an event of the fall, but the TIFIA loan has to miss two. The factors that we would consider are the liquidity available for each project during a temporary cash flow disruption, the limitations on additional debt, and how each lien performs during volatile stress periods. For Standard & Poor's CMTV, I'm Jody Heck, on location. Thanks for watching.